When the Hot Wheels Red Wine Club releases a new casting, I check it out to see if there's a way I can tweak it a little. Like I did with the Spectraflame Pink Bone Delivery casting recently. When the Hypo Hauler was released in Spectraflame Aqua, as you see here, something immediately came to mind. The casting is gorgeous. I mean, it's a beautiful little build they did here. The color's fantastic. I love that color on this. I like the scallops on the side. Uh, but something came to mind. And th this casting, it, it's based upon an assignment that was given to Gas Monkey Garage by Mattel to build a car in 10 weeks. They chose the 6340 Conaline truck and turned it into the Hypo or High Performance Hauler. There's been a few variations of this. This is different than their original paint scheme. But for this one, with this blue, I decided I wanted to give it a golf livery. I thought it would look really good on this aqua paint. So that's what I set out to do. Now, I drew it apart. There's only one, uh, one post in the bottom of this. So I drilled that out. Uh, the headlights hold in the front of the casting, which is kind of cool. So there you see it. The wheels are held in loosely. Nothing is holding them in place. They just sit in place. That interior sits on a post. There's a thick post that it sits on. I hated the white interior, to be honest with you. Uh, glass just fell out. As you see there, the engine was interesting. It's held in by a screw. And I... I thought I was going to be drilling out another post that went into the engine somehow. So when I saw that screw, I was thrilled, shocked, <laughs> but thrilled because heck, it makes life easier. That screw goes into, in a way, that blower assembly that you see there. It goes into the bottom of that. And if you look closely, you can see that that's actually keyed. I don't know if, I hope you can see it here. You'll, you'll see it here in a second on the lower portion. Because when it comes to the headers and exhaust, that is also keyed. And there you see it. It comes out. And then you have the transmission that's actually part of that body casting. And they took the time to paint that silver. So it's, they, they did an exceptionally good job building this, painting it. They did a fantastic job, except on the white top. The edges aren't as crisp as I would have liked. I did not try to fix that because I thought, Lord only knows what kind of trouble I'm going to get myself in. Uh, if I try and remove some of that, I didn't want to damage that Spectraflame Aqua. So I thought, well, I'll just live with it. It's not, it's not terrible, but it's one of those things that given how well they did the rest of this casting, I, I would have hoped they would have done that there too. So when it came to the decals, once I got this casting in, I went to the Second Chance Redline online store to see what golf decal sets they had. And then I started comparing castings I had on hand with the decal sets available to the size then of this. And I settled in on the Shelby Cobra Golf decal set. It's SCR 0835C is the specific set I ended up choosing. And when it arrived, second chance, just the stuff gets here amazingly quickly. I think it was here in like three days from when I ordered it, which it's ridiculous how quick it got here. So I, I didn't have to wait long. <laughs> uh, the decal set, once it arrived, I realized that my choice was pretty good. Uh, everything sized up the way I wanted it. Uh, there are obviously extra decals on that sheet that I didn't use. But the key part to me, the side decals, I wanted that golf side decal to be the right size. I didn't want it to be huge, ridiculously huge, and I didn't want it to be too small. 
I wanted the other sponsor decals. At first, I was only going to go with the three lower ones. And then I had to throw STP on there. God, it, as a kid, I couldn't get enough STP stickers as a kid. <laughs> so I had to throw that decal on there. And the one I was most concerned about was the stripe with the gulf on the top. And uh, it sized up really well. Perfect decal set for this. And, and second chances decals are fantastic to work with. So once those were on, I set those aside to dry. I decided to paint the interior silver because I hated the white. Uh, there I'm just using a pin to paint in what I'm, I'm hoping are all gauges. <laughs> They're all gauges the way I'm doing it. Uh, but yeah, I just added some other little details using you know, the pins. They work really well for this kind of situation. Uh, I do throw some seat belts. If I remember, I throw them in in red. It's been a few days since I finished this build uh, by the time I'm doing the voiceover for this video and I'm old and forgetful, so I think they're red. <laughs> we'll see here in a minute. Uh, they did, interestingly, when they were painting the belt, it was cool because when you when you look at the engine itself, they actually painted a belt in black, which was great. Uh, but they missed one side of it. It wasn't exceptionally visible through the packaging or anything like that. But once the engine was apart, you definitely notice it. Um, so I just painted that one section with black. Then I do go over this engine with null oil because I thought it could look better. And so the null oil wash really helps that engine detail pop a little better. I also put that null oil on the transmission in the body casting to bring out the detail on it as well. And it just adds a little bit more realism to it. And so again, I just, you know, you, you put the null oil on. When it dries, it seems like it disappears. Then you need to put a little bit more, at least for me, that's how it seems to go. Um, <laughs> I didn't put it up on the top. Like I tried to watch some of the areas I was using it because I didn't want to deaden any of the shine. Uh, I did use micro crystal clear to give the headlights a glass like sheen to them, like another layer to them. Not that the white was bad, but I thought that adding that clear micro crystal clear to it would just make them look a little deeper. And looking at the finished product, I don't know. <laughs> it might be one of those details that you add that then you don't really notice later, but you know you put the effort in to get them there. <laughs> um, but yeah, maybe it helped. On the exhaust on the engine, I did not put null oil on there. I didn't end up with null oil on there. I tried, but the detail that they cut into the exhaust almost wasn't deep enough to really accept the null oil and look good. When I tried it, I did not care for the looks of it. So I ended up wiping it off. I also added some uh, exhaust tips at first to give the exhaust flared tips. Um, and I didn't like that either. So those aren't on here. As I mentioned before, this is a keyed assembly for the engine. And so you lay down the bottom half of the engine, the, the well, the header section that comes off, and then you put that keyed blower part of the engine, the rest of the engine assembly in there and then screw it together. That was fantastic. And I can't tell if, if there's anybody anywhere near Mattel watching this. I really appreciate that you held that in with a screw. <laughs> it made life much easier. I love those wheels that are on this thing. If, if they ever threw those in one of their wheel sets, I'd pop, probably buy, I think it's a limit of five boxes on their wheel sets. I'd probably buy five boxes immediately because the wheels and tires on this are fantastic. At first, when I went to throw this together, I forgot about how that uh, interior it has the big post on it and it needs to be put on the base 
before it's put in. Otherwise, those headlights don't go in properly or they, they fight you. And so there you see the interior popping on a wide post that's there. And now it will drop in. And yeah, those seat belts were red that I did. <laughs> I was remembering that correctly. So this isn't a very elaborate build by any sense of it, but um, I'm really happy with the results. I'm sure there's going to be some people that look at this and are appalled that I cracked open this, this limited edition. I believe it's a limited edition of like 30,000. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I guess even grains of sand are a limited edition. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so there's one last perfect one still in the packaging out there. And I'm sure there's some people that are going to hate the fact that I added a livery to it. But in my eyes, this thing was just begging for the Gulf livery. So there you see where we started. And again, it's a beautiful little casting. And, uh, you know, if you just keep it that way in your collection, I can see why. Taking it out of the packaging, you get to see so much more of it, though. It, if you keep your collection in the packaging, I think you're missing a lot, but you're probably retaining some value. So there you see the golf livery thrown on there. Sponsor decals, the uh, stripe on the roof with the golf logo. So I hope you like this build. I hope you like the livery I chose for it and uh, the little tweaks to some of the detail. And you can see the interior there as it goes by. I think that looks much better than just the plain white interior. Adding the gauges, just detailing out a little bit more with those open side windows. I think you really get a better look to this build. Again, that's the one seat just centered in the middle, if, if you didn't notice that originally. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I hope you like it too. There's a few glamour shots coming up. So uh, thanks for watching these videos. Hope you like this one. <laughs> and uh, everybody stay safe and healthy out there. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one.